Hello everyone, welcome to Sermon on the Go. Today my topic is on end times, end times. And my text is taken from 2 Timothy chapter 4 verses 3 to 5. For the time is coming when people will not put up with sound doctrine, but having itchy ears. They will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own selfish desires and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander away to fables. In 2 Timothy, Paul writes Timothy, his student in the Lord, and in his writing he speaks about several things, some of which is having loyal faith not being ashamed of the gospel and being strong in grace throughout the history of the church there have always been those who will always refuse to listen and to support the teaching that challenges or contradicts their selfish and ungodly behavior yet as the end draws near such defiance will grow worse. Men and women will not put up with sound doctrine. Many will claim to be Christians, gather at churches and appear to honor God, but they will not tolerate through biblical faith with its emphasis on the demonstration of the Holy Spirit and his call to moral purity and separation from ungodly practices that are common in our world today. You can see this everywhere and within many churches. People are claiming to have more enlightenment than what the dusty Bible have to say. People are claiming to improve on God's word. And such people have several things in common, but I'll share three with you. They will always turn away from the truth. Many within the Christian churches no longer tolerate sound biblical teaching that boldly confronts challenges and speak truth and takes a firm stand against sin those who turn from the truth and compromise the principle of god's word will want preaching that condones their lifestyle does not challenge their behavior and demands less than full devotion to christ they will not accept god's word when it speaks of sin repentance judgment and the necessity of holiness. Second, they will gather around them teachers to say things that their itchy ears wants to hear. These insincere believers and church goers will not look for pastors who will fit the standard of God's word. Instead, they will look for leaders who will conform to their own self-seeking and worldly desires. They will choose preachers who are eloquent and entertaining speakers, whose message reassures them that they can remain Christians even though their behavior clearly contradicts the standard and principles of God's word. The Holy Spirit warns all who remain faithful to God and his word to expect persecution and suffering for their faith. They must separate themselves from churches and people who claim to follow Christ but will deny any aspects of God's power, his word, and who support preaching that compromises 
the true message of Christ as found in the Bible. People of God, we must be loyal to the gospel of Christ and we must pray and support faithful ministers of the gospel who preach and teach God's word in season and out of season. By doing this, we can be assured of close companionship with Christ and times of spiritual refreshment with the Lord. Paul, in his final words, said to Timothy, For the time is coming when people will not put up with sound doctrine, but having itchy ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own selfish desires and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander away to fables. Friends, in these end times, let's seek to follow ministers of the gospel who will speak the gospel in season and out of season, who will speak the inspired word of God, who will speak to challenge our behavior, our perception, and our tradition, who will preach the gospel to bring about positive change, righteousness, and holiness in our lives. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word today. We thank you for helping us to learn what your servant Paul wrote to his student Timothy as we have heard about it. Help us to pursue holiness. Help us to pursue men and women of God who can challenge our behavior and call us to righteousness in you. Call us to holiness. We pray that you will empower us, be with us in all that we do, and help us to know the right men and women of God to follow and to grow in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, don't forget to follow me on YouTube and subscribe to the channel. I shall see you soon. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>